How many times am I spraying my ankle? And then is this the same ankle? Yeah, at this point, it's gonna be a break. If you grew up in the 90s in America, you probably grew up with orange VHS tapes, Game Boys, this thing, and maybe Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail was on everybody's computer, 100%. You know, we would always be laughing at each other, like, oh, you died of dysentery. That's not funny. But, I'm, you know, it was, it was funny in the context of the game. I think it was supposed to be some sort of, like, educational game. You'd go into the computer lab, and you'd have the floppy disk, and you'd play, like, number munchers. But I definitely used it as a way to hurt my mortal enemies that I had when I was seven. I think usually I would, I would end up dying. I, I, like, braved the wilderness hunted for game poorly, where it's like, no, 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 you're not gonna just win every time. This isn't about learning two plus two and shooting laser guns. This is about learning the harsh reality of malnourishment. Heavy stuff. But we're not playing Oregon Trail today. We are going to play the Yukon Trail, which is made by the same people who made Oregon Trail. And according to some people on the internet, it's like way better than Oregon Trail. And we can only put that to the test. And so we shall. I mean, al already looking at the opening screen, the graphics here, right now I feel like I'm in the computer lab, you know, with the multicolor Macs. This MacBook is a little too updated for my, <laughs> for my enjoyment right now. This is the journal of Sylvie. And that's how you spell it. Jedediah Burlap. Hitting OK. Oh my god, what a blast from the past, the hourglass. Like, huh? Money? <laughs> This journal is the property of 10 Buick. I got my own journal now, August 23rd, 1897. So now we have a time period, arrived at Seattle. Those are my kind of people. Oh, wow. <laughs> a band of very shady characters inviting me to take their route. Skagway, I'm guessing DYEA is a place. I feel like everybody goes to Skagway though. So maybe, yeah. Yeah, we're going to yeah, yeah, baby, we're going to yeah. Okay, I think the first thing we should do is get food. So I'll, maybe to downtown Seattle. Should I talk to this guy? Another one of those stampeders. Wow, he just came aggressive off the rip. Behind everybody's got visions or delusions of striking it rich. Wow, I'm not really feeling this conversation, so I'm just gonna leave it. Goodbye. Um, let's see what these this lovely couple has to say. Greetings, stranger. What a weird thing to say. I would never go up to somebody and be like, hey, greetings, stranger. Hey, and welcome to Seattle. And they're like, I live here. $100,000 in gold? Three exclamation points? He's just coming up and bragging to me. I am a stranger. I have $350. I have no food. I am wandering around a strange town that like nobody wants to be in. Why would you just come up to somebody and be like, I've got $100,000. Me and my wife are rich as hell. Yeah, how did you do it? We just happen to be in the right place at the right time. What do you mean? Is this guy about to pitch me on something? Is this like the, the 1897 MLM or something like that? You may prospect for years and never find a paying claim. Then again, you just may be lucky enough to strike it rich. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Thank you uh, for this entire story, complete stranger. This is awesome. What's going on, my man? The only kind of outfit I sell is made for two people traveling together. You should get yourself a partner. That's what I've been in town trying to get food and nobody could, I don't see, you can't buy food in the Outfitters and nobody's even, okay, whatever. At the ticket office, that's where most of the unattached folks seem to hang out. Let's go to the ticket office. Oh, wow. Are these all my uh, eligible partners? Did this just turn into Frontier Bachelor? Four lucky wanderers and explorers all vying for my Hand. Why should I choose you, Sadie? Best gold darn gold miner in the world. I struck it rich a few years back. I run into some bad luck though. Lost it all in a poker game. Impulsive. I'll let you know later. You wouldn't last a week without a partner. Ah, oh, she is challenging me. If you knew that much about gold mining, would you really be here seeking a partner? Next contestant for my affection. Hello, my name is difficult for outsiders to pronounce. You may call me Linda. I can lead you to the place. First impression, you seem to have the most functional knowledge. Please sit back down, I have to review the two other contestants. Oh, so, well, that would be useful. If she's from the area and it's, you know, uncharted territory for me, she would be pretty useful to have around. Handsome, dashing, lone ranger looking character. I must remind the four of you, I only have one rose to give out. Why should I choose you, Jake? If you're looking for a partner, I'm your man. Whew, Jake. Wow, Jake is winning a lot of just raw emotional points here. I, I feel a raw chemistry with Jake, a man that can work with his hands. 
Last but not least, <laughs> uh, what looks like Jake's father. This is actually not right what you're doing here, sir. Name's Midas T. Golden. Might you be seeking a partner? Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, the following decision I have to make is so tough because getting to know you, I feel like a small piece of me has split apart and has been shared with each one of you. But let's be honest, Jake's a stone cold hottie and I'm going with him. I'm thinking Linda is gonna be my partner just because she's from there. You would make a wise decision by choosing me and I think she's correct about that. Oh, this is tough. I feel like I should go by myself. I'm so indecisive. This is gonna haunt me, this decision for an hour. I wanna do Midas, okay. So we're picking Midas. Day two. Still have no food, 770 pounds of cash. Let's go get uh, provisions. Give me all the food. And I'm interested in a sled to carry it. Let's bounce. Our ship touched up against that iceberg, but it appears no damage has been done. Thank God, thanks for the update, Linda. I think the iceberg got the worst of that encounter. I like that, Jake, you're the only one paying attention. It's coming from you. Yeah, this is taking forever. The first leg of the journey is at an end. Word has it that unloading supplies from the ship will be a nightmare, Jesus. Pirates, really, who are trying to collect huge fees for ferrying your supplies to shore. I want to meet a pirate. All right, here we are in Skagway. This is Skagway, as you can see by the sign. Thanks, Linda. We're here, baby. Adventure waits. Oh, it's great. I love it. We cannot start on the trail without supplies. We will have to buy some first. I, I've been saying that this entire time. I've been trying to buy supplies and food. No one will sell them to me. Is let us pay a visit to the local outfitter. I think Midas so far is a great partner. Wait a second. There's something afoot here. There's some sort of realm bending time traveling quality to this that I don't think I've uncovered. Unless this is a chain of identical twin salesmen. Hey sir, do you have a brother? This guy looks exactly like the guy in Seattle. It can't be, this guy is magic. You know, if I had my calculator on me, I would calculate, you know, the, the price per unit here to see what one was the best bang for the buck. The more food, the better. This is a bargain, guys. We're talking about money management. This is a steal. We don't know the price yet, but we want this. It's a bundled deal. Can I interest you in a simple game of find the nugget? No, I'm not interested in your scam. Can I interest you in a simple game of find the nugget? No, not a chance in your life. <laughs> if you get exactly 1,000 points, I'll tell you the best place to dig for gold. This is the best. This is absolutely the play. This is for kids. Shabang! Oh, they're going fast. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Oh! I'm not walking into a new town and saying yes to somebody that offers me to play Find the Nugget. Okay, we're getting it. It's the posture, guys. If it's 25 a bullet when you hit it. That's just not good Skagway street smarts. I kind of want to play again. <laughs> Should we start on the White Pass Trail now? Yeah, now we're talking. That was a bad. That was a bad fall I took. It looks like you may have sprained your ankle. Gash in my leg? We better stop and bandage it up. Ooh, take care of me, Jake. The White Pass Trail has come to be called the Dead Horse Trail. That is uh, grim. Yeah, now I'm, I'm wondering, did I really need Linda? Because like, yeah, there are clear signs everywhere. Some of our food has been stolen. There seems to be no respect for personal property. Well, I'd say. Get up. Get up. No, Jake, sorry. I was being unreasonable. Let me this time. Welcome to Canada! We did it! Welcome to Canada! All right, now it's time to deal with a Mountie. Time to talk to the man. All right, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse by what everybody else was saying. Hundred dollars. What if I play you in a game of Find the Nugget? Can we pass? No, you don't have enough. How did that happen? We gotta go all the way back down? Oh my gosh. That was a bad fall you took. How many times am I spraying my ankle? And then is this the same ankle? At this point, it's gonna be a break, probably, because I'm sure it's not even healed if it was just last month. You took quite a tumble. We better lay up for a day or two. They wrote all this on purpose. I should have gone to Skagway. I should have gone with a different partner. I have to say that so far, I don't know that Linda has contributed anything to this journey. Some of our food hasn't, why does this, I think Midas T is eating all of our food and then trying to blame these pirates because they're talking about all these pirates before. There are no pirates. That was a bad fall you took. How many times? Have I, this is the third time I sprained my ankle in addition to a, a separate injury of the entire leg. 
I just don't believe that it's as bad as she says it is. Welcome to Canada. Do you remember me? Up to Lake Bennett, baby. Welcome to Lake Bennett. You will be here until spring. It's not a Canadian accent, but it's this face accent. Uh, what should we do to pass the time until spring? I gotta hang out with Linda now until spring, just doing f*** <laughs> all. Can I talk to him? Oh, yes! <laughs> woof. <laughs> Who are you? Woof, woof. This is the best part of the game so far. Unless I just have like a nostalgia filter on, I think this is a lot less exciting than, than Oregon Trail. I feel like there was more going on uh, during the passage of time as opposed to just like, you wait 10 days and then like, I tripped over a rock, but I'm behind though. <laughs> Ooh, am I playing? <laughs> Wait, am I controlling this? Turn! Wow, just capsized. Okay, okay. You know, I don't think they made that clear to me at all. They just kind of came up on the screen. Okay, now I'm doing pretty good. This is not intuitive. Or I'm not intuitive. No, 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 no. All right, I gotta say, this is a little bit more exciting now. Look at that. I'm doing great. It steers itself. It doesn't steer itself! Does it steer itself? Okay. This boat will be better. And I, and I think it's user error. So, a poor worksman blames his tools, and call me a poor worksman because I'm blaming them. I am navigating this like an expert. Nope, okay. Whirlpool or whatever. She <laughs> okay, all right, maybe I spoke too soon. How did any 10-year-old make the time to play this? It goes from Nothing but like world building and hard facts about hard pioneer life to the most unwieldy, relentless. No, no, Jake! Why is this that you're not giving me chances to recover? You're just sending me straight back to that stupid little thing. You know what? I feel like this is just the universe humbling me because I was talking all that shit about Linda and now, and now my boat is being wrecked. We're gonna build our future. Are you ready? We're gonna go Hunter Creek. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. That was nothing. Jake, let's get out of here. This one stinks. We found some gold dust. Okay, let's test the claim some more. Nothing here but dirt, no gold. Okay, let's try, let's try another claim then, fine. Come on. There's no gold, but we found a $90 Amazon gift card. Come on, come on. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this torture and torment? What are you trying to teach me? Maybe over here. All right, so this is kind of silly that you just have to go around each place, click the shovel a bunch of times, and then just see if you, <laughs> if you find gold or not. Oh, gold nuggets. I am very happy. I also am happy, Linda. This is the best luck we've had so far, so I'm gonna stake this. Is that the, what is that, like a gold meter? Yo, okay, if, if, if this is in fact a gold meter, then I'm doing pretty good. All right, so it looks like we did pretty good. Whatever this value is, it's 16,000 about. Well, look at that. 10 Buick, Stampeder, 16,106 demented my name in history. Jake, this sucks. Nothing, nothing. I'm running out of spots. <laughs> Jake, sounds like this whole trip was kind of a big waste. <laughs> Isn't that great? We're starving. Here we go. We're gonna get some gold in this first spot, and I know it. This claim does not appear to be paying off. Midas is trying to make me... Yes! Screw you, Midas, trying to take me away from my gold nugget place. Okay, let's stake this claim. Gold nuggets, gold... Oh, man! I got everybody in town helping me out with this. There's gold dust! Jim! There's gold in them now, hills, Jake! Claim it right now. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that for another half hour. Is that my end game prompt? Is that my last stinger smash cut to credits? They find enough gold to pay for the passage home. Broke even. I did worse than 10. I did so much worse. I did 10G worse. Oh! 14,000, 15, 16, 17, oh my gosh. See, I knew it'd pay off one day, that arcade game. It had nothing to do with this, but I'm making money and I'm loving it. Stampeders hit pay dirt. 
Klondike pair among the lucky few to strike it rich. That's beautiful. 35,906 Canadian dollars, July 12th, 1898. You know, we had a rough run, we lost some money in the arcade, but we made it all back and I feel good. Wow, okay, all right, so I won, I won Yukon Trail. Despite having sprained my ankle three times, you know, I still made it. I feel like I just traveled through the Yukon. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I don't think I could watch another montage of a bucket slowly going into an empty hole. Thoughts? <sighs> Way more don't attack me boring than Oregon Trail. Not necessarily my favorite, but I kind of want to play again just so I can play that arcade game. Jake, if you're watching this right now, I wish you only nothing but the best, and I don't regret the time I spent with you. Also, thank you for healing my bloody gash on my leg. <laughs>